Broadcast here on CelineLive.com. We are proud to present you with the round one of Boys Varsity Basketball District playoffs here in the SEC. All together, folks, my name is Pat Canavan, and I am privileged tonight to be your sole broadcaster for the event. Currently, game one starting at 5.30. Just now here is going to be Celine Owen. It's taking on the Huron River Rats. All together, it's going to be a fantastic broadcast. River Rats finishing at the top of the SEC Red in this past season. They're looking to continue their 
dominance here in the game tonight against Celine. Celine finishing from fifth in the SEC red. Take it to the team. Right, nothing to lose. That's ready to take on whatever comes their way. Starting off, we have Womack from the River Rats. Opposed by Rico, bounce pass down low to Perkins. Perkins before the drive to Robinson. And Robinson's going to take it all the way to the glass, collecting two for the River Rats. Derek Caldwell down to Griffin Yakovich. Ferrari to Belskis. Belskis looks for the option and finds it back with Yakovich. Yakovich will drive inside and push it over to Caldwell. Yakovich looking for an option. But it's lost to the River Rats early in the regular season, so it'll be an interesting scenario to see how they prevail. Rico for three. Starts off strong. Rico, a constant, reliable player for the see how he responds. Robinson looks for the options. Finds one in Lewis. Lewis out front, opposed by Yakovich on the far side. Tries to drive inside. It's going to get cut short on the outside. Yakovich trying to race his way back inside the paint. It's going to be a turnover. The Hornets at one and one. So the turnover going in favor. The Hornets there. Eight minute quarters here tonight in high school basketball for those who are unfamiliar. So far, we got a 3 to 2 lead by Celine. Trevor Rico around the outside, trying to drive inside the paint before ditching it out to Griffin Yakwich. Big shot from Tyler Belskis off the front of the yard. Kingsley Perkins with the rebound there for the Rats. Race inside by Lewis before ditching over to Robinson. Robinson trying to drive into the paint. Successful against the Hornet defense. Perkins on the outside to Womack. Womack unsuccessful. Robinson's going to put it up. Perkins is going to put it up for two. One of those familiar things you see here in the Celine broadcast is constantly Coach Fosdick calling out orders on the court, but today we've got a full house, folks, and it makes it a little difficult that on the court call you. Here on being not that far away, big shot by Rico. Celine so able to control the rebounds with the situation. Trevor Rico going for the full windmill, is going to draw the first foul of the evening, as Trevor Rico is going to head to strike for two and shoot a foul. The foul will be called on uh, number 24, Kingsley Perkins. That's going to be his first personal foul, and that's going to be the team first all together. Trevor Rico, two shots from the stripe, collects on the first. And it goes two for two from the stripe from Trevor Rico there. Trevor Rico opening up a five. All of the Hornets points, pardon me, so far in this matchup. Past the outside, that's Womack who finds Edmondson before it goes back around to Lewis and then to Robinson. Perkins, once again, is able to put the shot up. Rebound's not going to go in favor, and foul's going to be called in favor of the Hornets now. So extra contact by Perkins, I think. Perkins going to hit the bench after the second personal foul with the first three minutes here of this basketball game. Taking the place of the course be Brandon Rawls at number 23. Trevor Rico. Anthony Ferrari to Griffin Yag with a slight fumble with the ball there, however, recovered. Bounce pass inside to Ferrari. Ferrari looks for the option. Hornets taking their time. Tyler Belskis to Derek Caldwell. Down low to Trevor Rico, losing his footing, and they're going to lose possession of the ball there. It's another turnover for the Hornets. Hard race inside, contested there by Tyler Belskis. Waved off. Part of me, it's going to be Anthony Ferrari with the foul there. It's going to be the first personal foul for the Hornets. The first foul overall. On the floor foul as the shot was waved off. So here on River at still in possession here. Let's see what they can do with this attack. 
Drive inside by Lewis, puts up a short jumper from just about 15 feet, collects with an easy two for the Huron River Rats. Huron taking its first lead of the game so far, 6 to 5. Tight game, however, for the Hornets. Nothing to lose tonight. River Rats continue to dominate and hold what they got. And there is a big block right there. Shot was up. With number five, Lewis, once again, throwing down the defense for the River Rats. That was Julian Lewis, 6'6", six, six, Junior. Shot knocked away as Hornets are going to regain possession there. Great possession opportunity now for Celine. Shot gets blocked like that. You have to always make sure you respond. But this is going to be a quick answer. Trevor Rico for three. It's going to go off the far side of the arc. Jumps in the back. And that's going to send possession the other way. Quick sub as J.D. Pick is going to take to the court. As Tyler Belskis heads to the bench for some luck. Devin Walmack, third possession, 6-2, Junior. Puts the shot up, he's going to collect off the front of the iron rebound. Picked up and dances and falls in the stair with his brand new ball. Collecting on the first points on his night so far. Current score standing at 8-5 here, on leading the way. 3-21 remaining in the first quarter. Yakovich off to the bounce pass, trying to find his way to Trevor Rico and back to Yakovich. Heavy pressure on the outside makes a difference. Jane Pickett. Outside of Derek Caldwell. Outside, it goes back to Pickett. Yakovich taking his time. Hornets looking for a clear option here. Here on proving to be a difficult defense to break through. Shot's going to go up, and the shoot foul will be called on number five for the River Rats. Julian Lewis once again. Oh! Direction. Shot was thought, foul was thought to be called on. Uh, Julian Lewis, however, in fact, it would be Brandon Rawls. First personal foul of the matchup tonight for Rawls. Yeah, quick for a strike. It's a one and one on the floor foul, so he's not going to collect there. His possession heads right down the coast. Roll back. Proposed by Pickett, looking for an option. Down low to Lewis. Back to the outside. Edmondson back up top to Robinson. Womack pushes into the paint, puts the shot up. He's going to get the end one opportunity. As the shot falls. Derek Caldwell going to be called. Foul there. First personal foul of the matchup in the team. Second foul overall. Three throws. Got two of them coming for him. Womack. Devin Womack is 6-2. Or pardon me, just one for the end one opportunity, I should say. First free throw, free throw of the evening for the River Rats. Anthony Ferrari. Bounce pass. Finds its way to Yakovich. Mariko for three. Off the back of the iron. Shot just right out of his favor and hits the back. Rebound collected by Huron in a full race down the court. Big shot there from an outside from Devin Womack once again. Just short. The Hornets regain possession. 11 to 5, under 2 to play in the first quarter. No look pass finds its way to Derek Caldwell. Back up to Trevor Rico. Hard drive inside before it's going to get tapped there and the foul is going to be called. And it's going to go called on Devin Womack. First personal foul of the evening for Devin Womack. Rebound pass finds its way to Griffin Yaklich. Trevor Orico. 
Big set by Anthony Ferrari and Yakus is going to go straight on in. Shots not going to have enough heat. Back up and out of bounds. Possession going in favor of the River Rats. Devin Womack just across midcourt now. Opposed by Griffin Yakovich. 11 to 5. Is that a to play? Here on. Holding the keys to victory at the moment. Big shot from the outside. Finds its way just short of the iron front. Julian Lewis there in the close corner here. Griffin Yakovich drive. Pass to Trevor Rico. Thinks about putting it up twice before dishing it over to. Caldwell, he puts it in for three. Caldwell closes that gap down to a two-point gap. Two, pardon me, Devin Womack. Julian Lewis back to Womack once again. Lewis thinks about the three. Womack goes for it. And answers Caldwell's three. Womack <laughs> putting up six of Huron's 14 points. Being a very tough force for the Hornets to stop this evening. Griffin Yaklich. Drive inside, tries to put a little action in the paint. He's going to put it up and it's going to fall just not in their favor. Second left of the clock. Right, doesn't get away in time off the side of the iron. That's one quarter down. You're going to look at that. Three more coming your way. Current score standing. And here on 14. It's lead for eight. Talk about a little of my unofficial official sports that, or scores I hit, have here. My uh, self-kept scoring table fouls are two for Celine currently, with four coming in for here on Celine. Derek Caldwell and Anthony Ferrari, 21 and 22, both racking in an individual personal foul for this matchup. But here on, you're looking at Devin Womack sitting with one foul, Brandon Rolls with one, and then Kingsley Perkins with an early two fouls. From the free throw stripe, Hornets had three opportunities. We're able to make it, able to convert on two of those. On the River Rats, see with a and one opportunity, collected on one. Altogether control of the game seems to be heavily in River Rat hands, and the Hornets to shut that down. Let's see what happens here. Inbound pass from Derek Caldwell finds its way to Trevor Rico and a hard drive by Rico looks to collect on the early two. Yes. Womack to Lewis. A big shot from the outside there by Anderson. The rebounds will be collected by Jaden Pickett. Yakwitz yeah, drive inside, dished over to Belskis, and now we're looking at Enrico. Enrico doing it again, hard drive inside. However, oh, Wilson's blown. Foul is called, and it's going to be called on the four for the River Rats. It's Tyson Edmondson, 6'4 junior for the River Rats. Trevor Rico from the strike, two opportunities. Collects on the first. One for two from the strike for Rico, the second opportunity there. Hornets now down by three. River Rats. Womack, pass to the outside to Studston. Still at number 30. He's dished back to Womack, still in control. Guard, the final four possessions were open out of bounds. Last touch was off of Womack, in fact, as the Hornets regained possession. 
Trevor Rico. Calling play at that point. Dish down low to Belskis. Back up to Yaklich. Yaklich looks for the option. He's going to be opposed by Edmondson. Pick it all alone to three. And he collects. Pick it big. One of the old leagues. Hornets in their last matchup against Redford Union to trade it from beyond the arc. Similar shot put in by Edmondson. Unable to convert. We have a tie game once again. Folks, 14 apiece. 6.30 on the clock. Yakovic comes to go. Yakovic. Two points. When it's 16 to 14 in the hero. Stud still. This is going to be blown and it's going to be called. Oh, uh, the Hornets are Derek Caldwell working in his second foul. to take his place on the court. Derek Caldwell hits the bench with, bench with his second foul of the evening. Inbound pass finds its way far side to Edmondson. Edmondson posed by Yaklich. Look at a Womack down low to Lewis. Far side to Studstill. Big shot to be put up on the outside from Lewis. Dances doesn't quite fall. Celine walks away with possession. Trevor Rico. Dish down low to Yaklich. Tyler Belskis over to Rico. Knocked up and out of bounds. Hornets still maintaining possession. Substitution coming in as number one steps in at the game once again. It's Robinson. The River Rats. Robinson, Mike Robinson, a six foot seven senior in the River Rat squad. Yaklich now. Trevor Rico back about midcourt. Anthony Ferrari to Tyler Belskis. Rico, hard drive inside the paint, puts the shot up. And shooting foul will be called as come up here. It looked like Lewis, Julian Lewis there with a little extra contact. And it will be. First personal foul for Julian Lewis, sixth for the team. So far, Trevor Rico with the strike. Unsuccessful at first. One for two from the strike from Trevor Rico there. Hornets leading the way, just about five minutes to play in the first half. Romack. Stolen away there. Belsky's able to get a hand on it. Rico, a part of the Yakwitz able to take it away. Trevor! Ricky Yakwitz puts it up for the extra two, and he gets the end one opportunity. Big moment there for the Hornets to see if they can pull away just a little bit further. And one opportunity doesn't quite fall in the fan in his favor. And a hard drive inside as this whistle's blown and this is an on the floor foul by Jaden Pickett. First personal foul for Jaden Pickett, team's fourth overall. Inbound pass here coming from Womack. Finds a long target of Robinson. Robinson opposed by Belskis on the far side. Womack in control once again. To Lewis. Down low to Edmondson. Back to Lewis. Hard drive inside by Lewis. Collects on it. Two of the River Rats. Julian Lewis. Putting up four so far in their six 
16 points total this evening for the River Rats. Trevor Rico, driver on the outside, tries to pull it up, and Lomack has been a solid hand on that ball. Denied the shot. Big two-point answer for Tony Lewis once again. That's four straight points. Here on that one, we're down by one as we have a 19 to 18 ball game. Just under four to play in the first half. Jaden Pickett, proposed by Edmondson. Ops for Griffin Yakich, drive inside Yakich. Hard pass, Ferrari. Nearly a turnover, but Belskis able to retrieve. Yakovich, big moves, and a big spin results in another two for the Hornets. Six points so far this evening by Griffin Yakovich. And another turnover, and Yakovich just out of reach, unable to collect on that Hornets. Pass is going to come from Mike Robinson there. Devin Wilback. Control the play across the court. Robinson back to Edmondson. Look at Lewis on the far side and drive inside. Wilback all alone for three. And it's going to go off the side of the iron. Tyler Belsk is able to regain possession of the move pass to Jaden Pickett. He puts the shot up. That does not fall in their favor. He's coming back in here in favor. And up and out of bounds. 21-18, 2.46 on the clock. First half. Well back. Download it. Far side, pardon me, to Edmondson. And then over to Mike Robinson. Robinson puts it up. Short jumpers to be off the close side of the iron. Driven Yaklich. Short pass. Anthony Ferrari. Belskis on the inside. Found the hole in the Hero defense. Flex on his first two so far on this matchup. Devin Rollback. Opposed by Griffin Yakovich. Reach the drive inside. Short bounce pass finds its way to Lewis and on the outside now. Drive in by Robinson. It's going to be knocked around and up on bounds. As Huron still maintains possession. Now, close corner to Womack. Short drive inside, trying to put it up in the paint. It's going high off the glass. Rebound collected by the Hornets. Anthony Ferrari now. Trevor Rico with the drive. Short jump off close to the iron. Long pass there to Robinson. Looks to put it up for two. This is low. So he's going to have the end one opportunity for the River Rats. Nick Dale stepping into the Hornets as well as Dylan Stunstill at number 30 for the River Rats. Robinson, and one opportunity. And he collects. Robinson responsible for five for the River Rats, 21 points. Womack and Lewis both ahead just at six points on the team. Trevor Rico, down low. Opposed by Womack. Over to Griffin Yakovich. Under 45 to play now in the first half. Hornets.
Hornets up by two. Those opportunities where the Hornets are looking to convert on this last opportunity to go into the locker room. It's up by possibly four, maybe five. Riverettes looking for every opportunity to shut that down. Seconds now. Yakovich looks to take it inside. Just now, he's going to travel a little bit of the shuffle there. And here on, take it over. Here on has a quick substitution here before the end of the half as it comes forward. Tyson Edmondson, 15 and a half to play on the clock. Here on. A chance to tie it up. We can take the lead here. Edmondson shoots for the three. Off the glass. Rebounds collected by Yakovich. Puts the shot away, but it's not going to fall. Oh, it's going to be close. It looks like he didn't have the shot off quite in time. There you go. That's 16 minutes. Real quick. Current score standing at 23 for Celine, 21 for the Huron River Rats. In terms of quick, a quick scoring, Sheets the lead. Kevin Yakovich up at six points. Trevor Rico standing tall at eight. Pickett at three. Colville at three. Belskis at two. For the River Rats, Robinson up at five. Womack at six. Lewis at six. Rawls at two. And Perkins at two. Definitely a team effort tonight on both sides of the court. Anyway, folks, we got a quick 10 minute halftime. Watching CelineLive.com. We'll be right back after the break.
16 minutes down, 16 to go. CityLive.com, proud to be broadcasting here for the first round of the district playoffs here in the SEC. Boys varsity basketball is quite a sport, and honestly, my favorite sport to cover here at CityLive.com. This is quite a game. Hornets sitting about fifth in the SEC red before the regular season came to an end. Well, here on firmly atop. Selene, however, after 16, leading the way, 23 to 21. Foul totals by both teams. We had five in the first half for Selene. Seven for the River Rats. So the rest of this game plays out. Rebound pass is going to find its way to Womack. Womack down low to Edmondson. Far side to Lewis. Lewis looking for the option. As opposed by Yakis. Goes to the three. 
The short bounce isn't going to fall in his favor. And foul is going to be called there on Kingsley Perkins. Perkins, a little bit of foul trouble. Early half, early section in the first half. Perkins going to gain his third foul of the evening. Kripniak, which downloaded Trevor Rico. Rico looking for the option. He's got Perkins in front of him. Womack guarding heavily. Back to Griffin Yakovich. Yakovich. Take possession is slowing down the course of play. Anthony Ferrari. Inside to Griffin Yakovich. Looks to put it up in the paint. And he puts it up. And it's going to fall in his favor. It's only two on the board. Thanks to Griffin Yakovich. Side for dishing it far side shot put up on the uh, outside beyond the arc by Robinson, but it's not going to fall quite in the favor. Yaklich bounce pass inside to Anthony Ferrari fights Belskis once again. He found a hole in the defense. Collecting out another two for the Hornets. Tyler Belskis, that was a, a little deja vu from a play we saw in the first half. It's up 27 to 21 now. And I don't know if you can hear it. I know you can. The atmosphere in this building is a little on fire for the Hornets. We'll see how that plays out. 6.34 remaining. Charity stroke. 
Hornets, five for eight. Five ten on the clock remaining here in the third quarter. Hornets are standing at 29 for Huron, 27 for the Hornets. It's be a close game all the way to that final buzzer now. We're worried that there's we're in the playoffs now. So we live coverage of the best high school basketball is about to end. Don't you worry because we'll have another game going on just after this, 7 o'clock. That's elitelive.com. That's where Lincoln Rail Splitters will take on Anna Rapineer. What can be a fantastic game to cap off this night of district playoff basketball at Celine High School. That was a quick time out there called by Celine. As they're looking to make, get as much out of this possession as they possibly can. Quick move by Griffin Yak, who's trying to work his way down towards the baseline. Short pass is going to actually catch the net. Maybe got a hand on there by Riverat and cut short the passing opportunity. Great passing by the Riverats. Results in Perkins collecting on a quick two. Hornets to settle things down and try and retaliate there. It's going to be Griffin Yak to the drive down low before Derek. Caldwell for three, it's going to dance, but not fall in his favor. Edmondson, drive inside, it's going to be Robinson for three, and he answers with it. Another timeout called by Celine, 34, 27. A big seven-point swing for the River Rats. The Hornets, still losing their grip here. Clock here, Hornets looking for a little answer to a seven point swing there by the River Rats. Be an interesting result here if the Hornets hold on for the rest of the third quarter. Let's see what they can do pushing into the fourth. Inbound pass coming from Derek Caldwell as Trevor Rico looking to take it down court. Short pass inside, this is going to be Griffin Yaklich, drive all the way up to the glass. And bounce out to Trevor Orico. Orico looking for possession. And it sends it down low to Tyler Belskis. Belskis. It's going to be Anthony Ferrari now. Yaklich for three. Nothing but that from Griffin Yaklich. Yeah. 34-30. Huron looks to retaliate, and that's going to be a late whistle as Huron gets the foul there, the positive foul, I should say. It's going to be called on Griffin Yaklich. It's going to be first personal foul of the evening. It's going to be the team's third overall in the first half. Give a pass. Finding its way from Edmondson and saved there. What a mess of a play there, real quick. But that was Trevor Rico nearly regaining possession for the Hornets. Big shot from the outside from here on, trying to collect and rebound. Perkins to be waved off, and it's going to go in favor of the Hornets there. Perkins getting his fourth personal foul so far of this matchup between the Hornets and the River Rats. In his place is going to be Brandon Rawls. Perkins being a very important player in that big swing they had there. It's going to be an interesting call to see what's going to happen here going into the fourth quarter and see if Perkins will get more time on the court. And see what the Hornets can do with that Perkins no longer crashing the boards. And there's a big hit there up and out of bounds. The Hornets still maintaining possession. 
pass coming from Griffin Yakovich, looking for the option. He's going to find it on the far side with Trevor Rico. Rico contested heavily by Rawls. Ferrari, pass inside to Caldwell. And this is going to be called. It's going to be a foul going in favor of Huron. It's going to be called. Picking up his third personal foul here in this overall matchup. Hornets have four fouls on the boards now. In this half, I should say, as the River Rats are standing at only two. A quick sub as Pickett comes in and Ferrari takes to the bench, but this is one of those situations where Hornets get into a little bit of foul trouble. You know, four right now, they only have five to start. The entire game. That's Robinson down low, set up to Edmondson. To Lewis. Lewis on the far side. You got Rawls. Short pass inside, and Romax going to put it up for another two. Trevor Arrigo looking to answer there for the Hornets. Down by six. Ball game's not that far out of question for either side. Yak, which the drive all the way in, and his layup's not going to fall in his favor. Lewis, hard drive, coast to coast, down low, step back, big shot from Robinson, off the iron. Up and out of bounds as the Hornets retake possession. Coming from Derek Caldwell. Finds way to Griffin Yakovich. Back to Caldwell. Yakovich now sends it over to Arrigo. Big time three from well beyond the arc. Off the back of the iron with a little bit of a laser beam on that one. Womack down low, looks to answer Vitality. He's going to go up and out of bounds off the shin of Jaden Pickett there as Huron still maintains. Under two to play now in the third quarter. Womack inbounds it. Short pass around by Robinson. He's able to put it up on the short side of the iron. A little bit of rough option there for the River Rats and, and Celine regains possession. Down low, Belskis for three. And a little too much on that one, up and over. Robinson, drive inside, puts it up. And it doesn't fall, rebound collected by Rawls. It's going to be Womack for three. Nothing but net by Womack. Eleven points by Devin Womack. Griffiak is trying with the drive inside there. Oh, the whistle's going to be blown. Uh, number five, Julia Lewis will be called. Foul there. Second personal foul of the evening so far as the team's third in the, in the second half altogether for the River Rats. Kevin Yakovich, the far side to Caldwell, down to Rico, trying to make some room. Under a minute to play here in the third quarter. Trevor Rico to Yakovich. Big shot from Yakovich, looking for the answer with the three. It's going to go just right at blast. And a long pass to Lewis. 33 seconds on the clock here on up by nine. Get a little bit of repeat of what happened at the end of the first half. Here I'm looking just to hold on for one last drive. It's going to be Womack with possession. Now with 15 on the clock. Celine, no opportunity to retaliate. Trying to get up there by 11 or maybe even 12. Womack outside. Big shot. And answer. That's going to be Julian Lewis 
for three. Lewis, 10 points on the night. River Rats down by two going into the third, and now they're up by 12. Big time swing. Lewis, Kiko Pony in that play, as well as Kingsley Perkins racking up an additional personal foul. Two, in fact, who still stood out. Played a very defiant game in the paint. Foul total, Celine. Nine the entire game, four just in the second half. And the River Rats totaling ten with seven in the first half and just three in the second. From the stripe, Celine having eight total opportunities, able to convert on five of them. The River Rats putting just five, going five for five. And key opportunities. Three of those chances from the stripe and one opportunities been oh so consistent on it's been a key part of their game so far it's one of those things where you've definitely seen the river rats tighten up their game a little bit far fewer fouls and Celine is now looking to score their points on the court in every other way possible Part of me, two fewer fouls. Anthony Ferrari. He's going to look for the option, and he's going to find it with Trevor Rico. Put up the jumper, and advances with a quick two. Rico relatively silent through the third quarter. Opens it up for the Hornets. Now here's an opportunity for Celine. 10 point difference, that's nothing to sneeze about right now, especially with how both, how both these teams have been playing. We'll see how Celine responds. Rawls able to ride his way right in there and collect on another two. Vinyakovic drive inside before the bounce pass out to Trevor Rico. Rico looking for the opportunity. And it's gonna get a quick hand on it there by Edmondson as this could be a turnover going against the Hornets. River Rats, strong passing by the River Rats. And that's always something I can appreciate from up top. You see the plays develop, you see how the passing is working out. And this is one of those things that Huron has done so well the entire game. Womack inside, finds Robinson, puts it up for another two. Yakovic for the opportunity. Tries to take it himself, goes around the outside, and a strong pass to Belskis. Caldwell for three. Nothing but a net there for Caldwell. A little bit of rim. But it sounds better to say nothing but net. Derek Caldwell. Six points in the Hornets. Total 35 this evening. A complete team effort on both sides of the court. Womack down low finds his way to Robinson. Robinson contested there by Ferrari. Besides taking it himself and a block by Belskis is. No foul is called on either side. And Ferrari puts it up for another three. Hot oh, iron hug. Drive short side. You're going to see far end. That's going to be Lewis. Let's take it himself. With a glide step, he's going to put it up for another two. Time out here, 48 to 35, 534 remaining here in this matchup. Here on taking control. And don't forget, folks, if you're bummed that you know, regular season basketball is all over, you can't catch it on Celine Live. And this will be our last Celine game. There's a little more basketball action coming your way as just after this game time will be 7 o'clock as we'll be covering the Lincoln Rail Splitters. And there. Challenger and Arbor Pioneer. Once again, SaleneLive.com. Great, a great way to catch all of local Saline sports, and we occasionally cover more 
tournament style sports such as today. Back in the fall, we did a lot of work with big interstate tournaments in terms of field hockey and then a few tournaments of soccer. However, tonight's all about playoff basketball. Like I said, 7 o'clock will be tip off for the Rail Splitters taking on Ann Arbor Pioneer. To lead, down by 13, 5.34 on the clock. Rolls out on the court as well as Lewis. Womack, Robinson, and Edmondson. Celine has Ferrari, Caldwell, Yakovich, Orico, and Belskis. The drive in by Orico results in him heading to the strike for extra two. Devin Womack being responsible for the foul, the second personal foul. It's going to be the fourth overall for Huron. Trevor Orico back to the strike. Collects on his first. Two for two from the strike by Tre Trevor Rico there. Trying to close that gap. And make a little effort for a morning comeback. Got Julie Lewis, Devin Womack, Womack pardon me. Robinson. Pass inside to Lewis, tries to make his way in. It's not going to work in his favor as a shot is just off target slightly, but Womack able to put it in for another two. 13 points so far this evening. Contributing towards Huron's total of 50 on the night. Strong pass from Yakis trying to find his way for Ferrari. Ferrari tries to put it up, put it up, and Womack able to get a hand on it and shut it down. Well, Ferrari still in possession, however. Trevor Rico on the outside looks to drive into the paint. Short pass to Belskis, puts it up to three, and it's going to just catch the side of the iron there. Julian Lewis. Drive inside. And it's going to be a shooting foul as Lewis might to the strike for two. From Yakovich being called. His second personal foul of the night. Team's fifth overall, pardon me, tonight as well. First of the fourth, I believe. Collects on the first there by Lewis. Pickett step again as Belskis taking it to the bench for the Hornets. Lewis, second opportunity here. Rats continuing to be perfect from the stripe. Lewis going two for two. Anthony Ferrari down low to Jaden Pickett. Short bounce pass, finds his way to Griffin Yakis. He puts the shot up off the glass, and shooting foul is going to be called on Womack. Yakovich. Two opportunities from the strike. Jacklich. First attempt. Two for two by Griffin Jacklich there. Handing off to Womack. Womack opposed by Eureka. Looking for the opportunity to drive inside. Almost able to ditch Eureka, but now he's got Pickett on the opposition here. Short pass to Lewis. To Rawls, back to Womack. Here on, bleeding time that the Hornets find so valuable. Trevor Rico able to come away with a quick steal there. He's got Robinson heavy on his heels, and he puts it up for two. 
Trevor Rico. Solid opportunity there. Able to close that gap back down to 11 as timeout is called by Celine. 52 here on and 41 for Celine. Let's talk about fouls a little bit because that's been a key component so far of both sides. Both sides of the court, pardon me. Ten in total for Celine, while the River Rats sitting at 12. Celine and their opportunities for the stripe have converted on all except for three individual shots. However, here on, every time they get the opportunity, they will put it in the basket. That proves their free throw percentage, which is still a resounding 100. It's one of those things you learn from watching just about every level of basketball. A team that has a very solid chance at the strike. Some free points, they will absolutely take it and they will absolutely make it. Three minutes on the clock. The ball is dished back to Walmack. Now to Lewis. Back to Walmack. Here on being very smart in the way they're playing, but the whistle's gonna be blown as it's gonna be a little bit of foul called on Trevor Rico. His first personal foul as the team gains their sixth overall. Well pass finds its way. Edmondson. The whistle's gonna be blown again as it's gonna go. Yak, which is, that puts Huron in the bonus. Julian Lewis at the stripe now. Collects on his first. from the stripe by Julian Lewis. 17 total points for Julian Lewis tonight and altogether going to be a very key component of this River Rat offense. Look at Nick Griffin Yakwich trying for the hard press inside the paint, able to put it up. Off the iron, collects his own rebound, dishes it outside to Rico, just off target and making it a little difficult to get a shot away. Rico for three, finds it with nothing. No worries there for Trevor Rico. Ten point game as Hornets now once again on the defensive. Foul's gonna be called on Griffin Yaklich. He up his second. Pardon me, his fourth personal foul here. Still two minutes remaining. In the fourth quarter. Julian Lewis at the strike. Unable to convert on the first opportunity. Breaking the River Rat streak of perfection from the strike. Ferrari down low to Enrico. Step back, looks for three. He's going to catch that first chunk of the rim with just too much heat. Rebound's going to be collected by here on. Hornets stuck on the defense once again. Womack. Short pass to Rawls. So Rico goes in and grabs Rawls for the foul. Second personal foul for Trevor Rico there. Once again, on successful from the strike there in that one opportunity. And looks like a foul is going to be called. And here on there with a little bit of action as 
Brett Rawls going to be called the foul there. Ten point game, just about a minute on the clock. Big shot from Trevor Rico is going to go off the front of the iron. Here on with the rebound. It's going to be Womack taking it back across the court. Ten points away of surviving the first round. Short pass results in a turnover. Belsons picks it up for the Hornets. Rico trying to find a spot in the defense. Belskis for three. Nothing but net by Tyler Belskis. Short 30 second timeout by Celine there. Current score standing at 54 47. And then over here on River Rats leading the way over the Hornets. A minute remaining here in this matchup. Hornets are looking to leave it all out on the line. All out on the court, I should say. Trying to snatch a victory there from the River Rats. River Rats, however, commanding so far in the second half. Very commanding presence on the court. They've done a very, very good job of training time when it's needed. to start with possession here. Hornets looking right for a full court press here in this final minute. Nick Dills on the court as well as Jaden Pickett. Number 30 stepping in. Dylan stud still from here on. The Akers on the bench. This last minute of play here. Short pass inside. Robinson's going to put it up. Goes for the dunk. Off the front of the iron. It doesn't fall in favor, but Lewis is able to steal it away there from Pickett. And Pickett's going to bump into him. This is blown as calls going to be foul on Jaden Pickett. Ten fouls so far for Celine in this second half. Julian Lewis at the strike. So far, a very strong showing for Lewis from the strike. Collects on his first. Ferrari and Yakwich back on the court. Forty-one and a half seconds on the clock. Julian Lewis at the stripe. River Rats up by eight. Make that nine. Lewis continue to be a dominant force in this River Rat offense. Kriyakovich drive inside before dish over to Arico. Puts it up for three. Go off the glass as rebounds collected there by Ferrari, unable to control there as Huron takes possession. Unable to get the foul drawn. Trevor Rico able to get his hand on Lewis's arm, and Lewis will head to the strike. Rico grabbing his third foul of the evening so far, under 20 seconds to play. Celine's down by nine. Successful first opportunity we've seen there by Julian Lewis. Is in fact in a bit of a rough situation. However, going against the Hornets, double bonus now for Huron. Short pass inside. It's gonna be was trying to get a shot away. Looks for the three off the glass. Doesn't fall in his favor. That folks, time's gonna expire. And here on survives round one of the district playoffs here. Celine calling in their home court. Final score stands at 56 for 
the River Rats, 47 for the Hornets. Taylor, in terms of foul totals, Hornets racked up 10 in the second half. Well, here on sitting at six. Don't forget, folks, this is CelineLive.com, and we don't want to just give you half of the district play here at Celine. So we'll be back on the air at just about 7 o'clock, ready to cover the Lincoln Rail Splitters as they take on Ann Arbor Pioneer in the battle. In the district playoffs round one. And as always, folks, my name is Pat Canavan. We'll catch you in just a few.